You saw the title, and now you're thinking how did Hai Won, the girl that got into his asterisk one solely for her visuals, save the K-pop industry? It might seem incomprehensible to you that the girl that has a total of two lines in her entire career, who fails to hold one single note and has never moved more than two muscle groups at the same time, saved the entire industry. But this video will answer all your questions, and let me promise you, I'm not crazy, you will agree with me by the end of the video. But before we get onto the video, let's quickly answer the question, who is Kong Haiwan? Haiwan was born in the city of Yongsan, South Korea, on July 5, 1999. Her first high school was Bokwang High School, and soon after, she transferred to the infamous Hanlim Art School. At one point, she joined 8D Creative, a small company that was sold to a pharma company at one point and only has a single group, only one of. A group that launders money from straight women, who fetishize gay men, by queer baiting and inappropriately touching each other. So clearly, Haiwan joining the company was the last hope for the company to survive and fund the activities of their boy group. For publicity purposes and lack of budget, Haiwan was sent to the third season of the famous survival show Produce. There she was quickly noticed for being a pretty girl who has absolutely no talent. <laughs> And unlike other coming-of-age stories of trainees, Haiwan did not improve a single bit during the entire program. She remained the girl with a pretty face who has absolutely no idea why she is on that show. Well, actually, the He Eyes cover exists and she kinda slayed, not gonna lie. <laughs> But still. Most people noticed that she did not even want to be on the show, she just wanted to watch Attack of Titan and play her video games. Clearly, her company forced her. But no matter how much disinterest she showed in that program she had already built an entire fan base that was ready to sacrifice their lives for Miss Kong and with a little bit of help from Mnet she managed to debut as the eighth member of the group Eyes One. As a member, the situation didn't improve for her. I mean, how could it if she was given just a couple of seconds of lines in every comeback? She continued to be pushed to the side when it came to group activities, but her visuals managed to get her quite some brand deals and magazine shoots. So despite the lack of interest and promotion from Wake One Entertainment, she still managed to create a legacy for herself. This shall not imply that she let the injustice slide. She was petty and spiteful when it came to things like this and always made sure to take revenge. When given a limited time to promote her group's comeback, she instead decided to promote her favorite anime, Attack on Titan. You could audibly hear the staff and company representatives fuming but she did not let this bother her. She knew her power and influence. While promoting on a music show program, she noticed how the cameraman was not focusing on her, and this was also the time when Young, her group mate, was getting lots of hatred. So, she created a plan, one, that could have only been created by a mastermind. During the encore stage of one of their promotions, she dropped a few pieces of decorative paper. That paper had the number of the cameraman in it. How did she get it? We do not know. But she purposely dropped it in front of Won Young's eyes so that she would pick it up and receive praise. While Hai Won herself would receive hate for being so inconsiderate of staff members. She took the hate because her selfless self wanted Won Young to finally receive positive comments, and also because she had other plans. While leaving the stage Won Young noticed the number on the paper and started to ask her members whose number this was. Hai Won quickly replied by suggesting to call the number and find out. She ended up doing it when the cameraman was around and his bell started ringing. Everyone was in shock. 
Did the cameraman decide to give the members his numbers? Of course not. But that's what Haiwan wanted it to look like after he completely ignored her. The staff members quickly send a complaint to the owner of the music show and the cameraman was fired. And just like this, once again, Haiwan successfully took revenge. After Eyes 1 disbanded, Haiwan returned to 8D Creative and was originally meant to debut in a group with Go Yujin and Yu Min Young who both ended up leaving the company due to mismanagement. So with no female trainees left, the plans of the 8D girl group were cancelled as well. After quite some time Haiwan was forced to release a winter album. Now you might think winter album? Singing? Haiwan? How is that possible? And trust me, I could not believe it as well. But when I tell you, it's the best winter album created by a K-pop act after EXO's Miracles in December. I don't know how she did it, but she did. Due to lack of promotions and limited sales, the winter album did not do too well, but again, she dropped an album that would manifest her legacy. Now let's answer the question. How did she save the industry? By now you might have already created a theory in your head. What if she saved the industry by being the worst dozen of K-pop and making other dozens look not so bad? And no, that is not the answer. The answer is that there is no answer and Haiwan did not save the industry. I just wanted to make a video on my queen. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you watched it to the end, don't spoil the ending in the comments, act like I revealed some insightful and mind-blowing information at the end. So more people actually watch the video until the end. I also need to let you guys know that I made the music show incident up. She was probably just lazy.